Hi friends, this is Susie, your Kitty Crush Guru. It is April 6, 2024. I'm here for my Whirl and Quirtle of the Day and for Crossword Puzzles Week. So I thought I'd head over to the New York Times games. Now, you have to subscribe in order to play the regular New York Times puzzle, but I thought the mini puzzle, which is free, would serve us well because it would give us some five-letter words. And of these, Softy, Klutz, Awful, and Witty, I like softy best because not only does it have two of our common letters like some of the other five letter words do, but also it doesn't contain things like a K or a double T and a Z. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to go with softy. I'm going to see if that gives us anything for the day. Okay, so that's really good. We got an F and we don't know where it is, but F is kind of a, an unusual letter. I almost said we have an F and we have it placed. We don't have it placed. I have no idea where that one goes. I'm guessing in the beginning. That's what I'm thinking. So what other letters can I pair with that? We've got uh, R, L, N, and E. So I kind of like the F, R idea or the F, L idea. Uh, what other vowels do we have? A, I, you. So oh, skip that. I think I like final. No, it doesn't have an E in it. I kind of wanted the E. Finer? Let's try finer. Oh, Fien. That looks familiar. Okay. Yeah, didn't didn't need the E. Was kind of sure there was an E in there somewhere. Um and it's not final. Let's put things in F I N. So what else could this be? Uh we've gotten rid of the Y. So we haven't tried the A yet, but without an O. We haven't tried the L yet. Oh! It could still be final. Oh, now I wish I would have tried final. <sighs> could it be anything else? Oh, it could be Finch. I love birdies. It could be... Are those the only two that I have? I don't see anything else. What, what could go here? An A could go here. I don't see a U going there. I don't see an I going there. Not for an English word. <sighs> yeah, I think that's it. I can't find anything other than Final and Finch. Now, I'm going just based on impressions that I see. But the thing is, I've got three-fifths of the word. So impressions on what I see are more... And not only that, but the first three letters of the word. If it were the last three letters of the word, it would be trickier. But our brain tends to fill things in when we see the beginning. And so I don't see anything easily that it could be. So I've got final and finch as my two options. Here's the thing. If I guess final and it's not final, I'm going to be really nervous about guessing finch same way other way around if i do finch and it's not that there's nothing there's nothing to indicate that it's final if i try finch because i've i've not excluded any of these letters and i've not placed any of these letters and so then i will wonder is it final or did i mess up and not find something in here that i should have so i think Oh, I'm debating. 
if I just had to go with a word, I think I would go with Finch over Final. And I've only got two, and at this point in time, I will often just go ahead and plug something in. But I didn't, I didn't do a thorough check. I think instead of doing Finch, I'm going to do... Um, what if I did Mulch? That would give us an L for Final. It would give us a CH for Finch. It would throw in a different couple of letters just in case there's a U in here, and I'm not getting that. Uh, and it's easier than trying to come up with C-H-A-L. Yeah. Let's do mulch. I'm fine with mulch. Mulch will tell us if it's one of these two, I think. If there's an L in there, it's going to be final, right? It couldn't be anything else. Finle. Finla. No, I'm fine with that. Oh, it's Finch. Oh, I should have gone with my gut. That's okay. Four, but a solid four. I knew where I was going at that point in time. I'm okay with that. I feel good about that. <sighs> yeah, I feel good. Because it could have gone either way, Final or Finch, or w whatever words are in here that I didn't see. All right, let's move on to our Quirtle of the day. I have got Fishy, Budge, Clown, Tramp. I have got Enemy. I hope not. E could go here, N could go here, E could go here again, M, Y. Okay, I have got flack. Wow, negative. And I put I I put myself in in the midst of these. Uh, I think it's flack. I don't see how we could get anything else with that arrangement. Okay, and sometimes they do run in some sort of connected way. So what is this? There's an N there. Unfit. Oh my goodness. U could go there. N goes there. F could go there. I could go there. T could go there. Unfit. Oh, it's a depressing one today. And then P, E, A, Y. And the Y isn't at the end. So... We might have another E. We might not. We also do have, you know, an A and a, and a Y. And presumably the Y is going to be used as a vowel. Um, why don't I see it right away? The E isn't there. Let's just, let's just fill this in. So we know there's an E here. We know that there could be an A here, here. Or here, a P, here, 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 or here, a Y, here, here. Oh gosh, we don't have much um, <laughs> decided on this one. And then we could still have an E here or here. I'm feeling like it's not very likely. Then we could also have a Q, but probably not because there's no U. A J, a Z, an X, and a V. So what goes here? Um, P, Y... P, Y... Payax, Payax, Payaz, Payav. No. I thought once I put this all out that I might get it really quickly. That was wrong. Um, Pay E. Pay E. 
Oh, it could be payee. So that idea of maybe there probably isn't another E in there. I think I'm wrong on that. So P could go here. A could go here. Y could go here. E could go here. And we know the E is there. I'm thinking that's it. And if not, I've got another try. But that is it. I don't need another try. I was sure it was going to be one of these letters in there. I didn't know how to make sense of just those letters on their own. That is it for me. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.